Hey there, good morning. And uh, it is very early in the morning right now. It is about 4.30. And I just arrived at um, the uh, location where I'm going to be doing some landscape photography this morning. Going to be shooting at Scenic, uh, not Scenic, Secret Beach on the, um, on the southern coastline of the state of Oregon. I've been here once before. I was here yesterday morning, in fact. And the reason you come here at this time at least this time of year in the summer is not simply because the light is better, but because um, it's the moment in which the tide is out. The tide is at its lowest point at this time of day. So it enables you to get in and to get into some areas in, um, in Secret Beach, which normally you wouldn't be able to see um, because the tide would be too high. And this is one of those kinds of things that I'm taking a little bit of a chance on because I photographed it yesterday, of course, and I looked at the images and I thought they were okay, but I felt like the it was a little too too close to daytime, a little too close to golden hour. I felt like it really needed softer light, the kind of light you can only get during blue hour. So I thought, all right, let's let's give it one more try and go down and shoot it again and see what we can find. So see how it turns out and then compare the two against one another. So I'm gonna grab my tripod, grab my bag here, and we're gonna hike back down to Secret Beach. Wow, what an absolutely beautiful morning to be out here. Because the tide has already come all the way in and has gone out, oh man. Sorry, I'm looking at something. Um, because it's already come all the way in and out, all of the footprints from all the people who were probably here yesterday are gone. And it is absolutely pristine. Not a single footprint on it. I'm the only person, so I'm having to be very careful about where I walk, because I don't want to put too many footprints anywhere. Anyway, um, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this, but the reason why I uh, kind of uh, laughed a second ago is because there is an orange moon up this morning, and it appears to be right about where I want to be photographing this morning. I didn't have any intent of getting a moon in the shot this morning, but I don't know. Uh, maybe I will. And uh, we're just gonna have to see how this, how this looks down here. Um, so it is a little bit different. The, the tide is even further out this morning than it was actually, I believe, when I was here yesterday at this time or at least when I tried to photograph it yesterday, maybe uh, some of the tide had already come in. But the reason I'm here is because of these rocks down here. And I know that may seem a little weird that I'm focusing on that when there are these, these grand majestic sea stacks around here, and I've already photographed those. And I do like photographing them, but there's something about these seaweed covered rocks down here that I find really interesting and fascinating just from a, a textural perspective, the color, the detail, the look of it. It has an almost like a, like an alien like quality to it. It just doesn't, it doesn't look like something of this earth. I find it, rather mysterious and oddly beautiful and just really, really interesting to photograph. And it was totally unexpected. I stumbled across these yesterday and started trying to photograph them and just really got into it. And I thought, yeah, I need to come back and give this another try. So the water's a little low right now. I was actually, I would actually prefer to be a little bit higher, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to um, get that by the time the sun comes up. The problem I had yesterday was that the sun came up and it came over this ridge over here behind me and it started hitting those 
sea stacks in the back back there and started blowing them out. And everything here in front of me was in shadow. And it was just really, really hard to photograph. So I'm gonna to try to get some images now while, this, while, the, while the sun, while the moon is uh, fairly visible. And uh, we're gonna see what happens here. Wish me luck. So I'm doing a couple of different things here with the intent of later creating a composite image in post because the uh, dynamic range of the scene is, is pretty extreme. We have a bright sky and a, and a dim kind of foreground here. So I'm having to uh, bracket the exposure so that I'm overexposing and underexposing. And I'm actually doing some additional underexposed images some like using exposure compensation going down by at least a, uh, a couple of stops in order to make sure that I get the color of the sky. And then I'm also going a couple of stops over with the foreground to make sure I get enough detail in, um, in, the, uh, in the seaweed and in the, in the rock here. And then I'll be blending those exposures later. Then I'm also doing focus stacking as well. So I'm focusing on the, on the seaweed out here and then I'm focusing on a midpoint kind of in between and then down here in the immediate foreground as well. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to use those or not, or if I'm going to be blending those two, but I'm capturing them just in case. Because sometimes I like the natural field of view. Sometimes I like it when the foreground is blurry. It looks a little more um, uh, natural, I think, uh, as opposed to something that has been blended, something that has uh, deep focus to it. But I don't know. I mean, this is the kind of thing that you just don't know. And so I'm kind of in almost like what I would call like a, just like a data gathering mode for lack of a better way to put it. It's kind of like, you just want to capture as many different versions of it as you possibly can. Overexposed, underexposed, different focal points so that later you have options. Later, you're not kicking yourself thinking, you know, oh, why didn't I just focus stack it? Or why didn't I, I just need one additional, you know, um, you know, bump of exposure in one particular direction. Why didn't I do that? The only downside to this though, is that it does mean that you have to be pretty happy with whatever composition you have, because by the time you're done with this and you've created all the different versions, uh, the light is going to completely change. As a matter of fact, that moon I was talking about just a minute ago is, completely gone, it disappeared rather quickly, and, um, and the color is starting to fade from the sky as well. So yeah, I'm feeling a little more optimistic about the image that I captured this morning compared to the same image that I shot yesterday. Uh, I was happy with the one from yesterday, but I discovered it too late in the morning and the light was, uh, was not good. And I wanted more ideal conditions, so I came back, shot it during blue hour, and I think, um, I think hopefully I got a better image this time. It's interesting though, because it is different. Even though it was pretty much the exact same image that I shot yesterday morning, the tide pool had changed uh, you know, between yesterday and last night and this morning because there was now more seaweed, more colorful seaweed in the foreground than I remembered there being there yesterday. There was also less water in there compared to yesterday, but um, I feel pretty good about it. And unfortunately not gonna know until I get back home and I look at everything and and uh, try to edit it and see what happens. And then I'll probably go through the usual round of kicking myself for 
not moving the camera a little this way or a little this way or a little higher or a little lower or something like that. I feel like hopefully I sorted some of those things out yesterday because I initially tried to shoot it kind of down this way, kind of from eye level. And, and I kept trying to shoot it and the, and the geometry of the landscape kept overlapping. Like the geometry of these rocks were blending in with the sea stacks in the back. And it was, it was and, the, and there wasn't, um, and everything was getting kind of jumbled up visually. There wasn't enough visual separation between the elements. So I ended up just dropping the tripod all the way down flat onto the ground to shoot right into it so that you could see the actual upper edge of the rock and it wasn't blending in visually with, a, with one of these sea stacks in the back. Hopefully that worked, I guess we'll see. Something else I tried this morning was letting go of the, of the tripod for a bit because I felt like the tripod was beginning to slow me down and I wanted to take advantage of the light while I had it. So I just raised the ISO and shutter speed on the camera and just started you know, just shooting handheld. And I feel like I, I got some pretty good images that way. I also experimented shooting with a telephoto lens to help compress the landscape. And I also really liked just getting down low and just basically getting rid of the, of the water in between the sea stacks and the foreground. Thanks so much for being here. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel as well. I'm gonna be posting more videos in the future. I have another trip coming up uh, and, uh, and I'll be posting some videos from the road for that one as well. So be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks so much everyone for being here. See you next time. Mm -hmm.